welcome back to our channel. If you're new, my name is Krista and I'm the founder of the Tina Conte Foundation. And today we're discussing the Kroger Foundation grant. So as always, I will leave the link to the website in the description box below. The Kroger Foundation has a goal of lifting up their communities. So I suggest as always that you read about the organization Kroger to see if your organization aligns with their needs. On the website, you see they have some guidelines. So they're telling us off the bat, Kroger Foundation does not make grants to organizations that are not 501c3 and that do not have, and that discriminate on anyone, again, for race, religion, and so forth. And they're telling us that they um, verify all 501c organizations through charity check. So if your organization aligns with those things, what you're gonna do is click this right here to apply. And once you do that, you're gonna to come to this page. Again, it gives us a little bit more information about Kroger's key focus, which is hunger, diversity and inclusion, nutrition and stronger communities. So they're, they're wanting you to check out that. Once you get down there, you go down to the And if you don't have an account, you're gonna to have to create an account. And it will walk you through the steps to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and log in. Once you do that, you're going to come to the home page. So it's selling us. It's pretty, you can submit your application in easy steps, submit your proposal. So let's go ahead and get started. An eligibility quiz awaits us. Are we a 501c3? We're going to say yes. Decision date by Kroger is it needed less than four or more? So we're going to say more. And are you applying for national or local funding? You have to determine which one you're applying for. Lots of times it's going to be local uh, because we're all in one state or region. You don't have, or, you know, offices all over. And so this is, so now that you see Kroger is basically in charge of all of these things, under which banner are you applying for funding? So you need to select which one. We're going to say Kroger. We're going to select our state here. And so at the top where it says community donations, you see one, two, three, four. These are the steps of the grant proposal. So what you're going to do now is enter in your information. See, it's pretty standard. Um, your taxpayer ID is going to be your 501c3 your contact name, your job title, phone, and etc. So once you enter all that information, you're going to click on next. Okay, so once you come to number two, it's asking for which of the following best represents your organization's primary mission. So the primary mission of your organization, um, if none of these like us, there is we're not educating youth, so we're just going to say local community. Here, you're going to put in your mission statement, the year your organization was founded, and it tells us how many individuals make up your leadership team board members for the below categories, and what is your organization's diversity, equity, and inclusion policy? What is the number of people your organization serves annually? If you don't have an actual number, do an estimate, I would suggest. And have you ever received a donation from the Kroger family in the past? Are you currently enrolled in community rewards? And are you or any Kroger family member connected? So you need to answer those questions. And once you do, you'll hit next. And information number three says donation request details. The following questions pertain to information specific to the donation request. So what is this uh, what are you having your event for? What category best describes your request? You need to select one of them. What form of support are you requesting? Gift cards, and that would be to purchase items from one of their stores to support a program. Monetary, to provide support for a sponsorship request. Product donation, to request product from one of our stores. So you have to pick which one. Okay, number four is who you serve. They want you to put that information in. Help us better understand the demographics you serve. So this would be the number of people that you've served in your community. 
if you have not served these people I would put you can either put unknown or put the ones that you do know you can click on unknown but you may not know and okay, once you put that information you're going to come to the final comments tell them about a success story help tell, tell us our shared story and partnership to lift our communities limit 100 words if you help someone get a car if you help someone who was homeless put that information in here also if you have any photos of you helping that person make sure you have a release if you want to include that and if you want to choose any additional information you can upload that there any final comments and it says please attach a current w9 signed if you you can also always download those from the IRS website and it says the mailing address for the donation request must be a physical address this is where any donation if approved will be mailed PO boxes will not be accepted so this is where you'll put the information and then you'll go ahead and hit submit click submit to send it off to be reviewed by Kroger so this concludes this video about the Kroger Foundation grant are you gonna apply if so, let us know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.